Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel where we will analyze this big Bitcoin crash again. Oh my God. Sorry, I wasn't there this morning. Yesterday evening we had Thanksgiving. Beautiful turkey created by Morton. I think his name is Poker Nomad on Twitter. Really cool guy with his wife. We had turkey for the first time. Beautiful evening. Um, so a few drinks. So this morning I, I just was like mm, busy. <laughs> Let's say, um, let's quickly jump into the chart because there is some stuff showing on the charts uh, that can make you freak out at the moment. So let's quickly jump there and see what is happening. Bam! This is the first chart. Oh, my face is big. Make it small. Um, ooh, this is the four hour chart uh, on Bybit, on the Oryx platform, guys. This is not beautiful. Look, these red candles i don't like to wake up to red candles i don't think you will as well did the bam tell you to short this uh, let's be honest the bam told you to long over here and let's take all the figures uh, we had the complete green from that moment over there and the bam bam did cross the line over there so we would have taken the trade somewhere around let's be clear this level and we would have sold around the short level that would have, would have been a 2.2% trade without leverage, we'll leverage a little bit more. The short, we would have opened when the candle closed down below the other stepping line at that point, and we would still be in the short, that would be a 5% short. Why would we go to take that short? One more time, short flag, candle closing down below the other stepping line, red dot, yellow, steep, plus blue, red line on top, you can see it clearly now, the BAM crossing the line and the white line crossing downwards. So all confirmations of taking the short, exit the long or even start a short at that moment. Now, let's jump into the thing that you are asking yourself now. But Didi, what is Bitcoin going to do next? Are we going to crash to zero? BAM! Let's first look here. This is also the four hour chart. This one is on trading view. Um, I was drawing these lines and the moment I was drawing these lines this morning, bam, we crossed that green line. I was hoping that this would be this um, bearish pattern that would be playing out like this. Um, let's see, let's go up again, you know, like this something and then break out again or retest. That was what I hoped, but we are breaking this level. The next level of support at the moment is this green box. So that would be in between uh, in between these two levels over there. So that would be in between 40, uh, 54 and 53,000. Around this area, we should find support. And that is an area that we have uh, touched many times before. Here it was resistance, here it was support. You know, we are breaking this support level. So this is the next support level. And then the next one would be around 50K. Uh, but I don't see us breaking that. Why not? Because if we zoom out to the day chart, bam, over here. Um, on this day chart, I need to make it a little bit more clear. You can see more clearly that we still are in the zoomed out way uh, in an uptrend. That means, what does it mean, Didi, an uptrend? This is a low, this is a higher low, this is a high, this is a higher high. If we would keep support on this green line over there, we would still be creating a higher low. Then, of course, we need to make a higher high again around that 70K level. So just analyzing, we could go down bounce all the way up to there that would be amazing um, that would be a beautiful pattern but if we break this line we could fall down all the way to 50k over there and then see the bounce all of that is possible um, do we have more charts yes we have bam here this one this one I saw on Crypto Crew University. Follow that channel as well. It's Steve. He has amazing videos. Um, he mentioned today the pie cycle. And the beautiful thing in the pie cycle now is you can see the tops over there and over there. And the moment we see a top, that is the moment that the red line is crossing the green line. So the red line is crossing the green line. Then we see the top. Now, normally after a pie cycle top, this red line you can see goes down very steeply. And the green line goes slowly because this is the fast moving average, there's a slow moving average. Now, if we look back to 2013, let's go back all the way to 2013. Come, 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 internet. Um, then you can see over there, one second, look, here the same thing happened. 
So here we had a bicycle cycle top and we had a double top in that year. And here the red line crossed, but you can see that the green line kept moving up as well. It was not a huge gap. There was not a huge gap. And that is exactly what we are experiencing now as well. Look, we did cross over here the red line the green line but it kept moving up as well so the gap is a little bit bigger than 2013 but still this red line is not doing the same it did in 2017 so this red line is not going this way this red line is going up again so that is why i'm still positive that the bull run is still not over i also this indicator the pie cycle is showing me um, that we have another top coming in and i think that will be above that 100k and that is exactly bam over here what plan b tweeted yesterday and he said the floor model 98k november close will probably be the first miss after nailing august september and october he was completely right he's admitting maybe november is not go good the, the prediction but the stock to flow model is not affected and indeed on track towards 100k and that is what we can see here these red dots of the stock to flow model are still red dot orange red and we are need to have some more red dots now above that white line and that is what we expect to happen before the end of the year that is at least what i expect to happen before the end of the year as well bam that was my short ta update video for today i hope you really enjoyed the charts i hope you really learned a little bit if you did give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment also join my twitter today because there is a video released by ledger that we were part of beautiful images of me mistine crypto oh my god diddy mistine crypto and and marine altman as well three influencers in the space that had a beautiful video um, with ledger guys enjoy it and see you tomorrow again bam